most, let us appreciate as a nation that the development of the third generation formula is not an all of a sudden event that occurred last week or last month. The discussion on the revenue sharing formula has been on for the last two and a half years. And the role of CRA is to actually look at how counties are going to share the revenue in an equitable manner, considering all the necessary factors. Secondly, let us also appreciate that for CRA, or even the Senate Finance Committee to arrive at the formula, they must rely on reliable statistical figures. And in this case, we are saying the figures CRA, the Finance Committee of the Senate are relying on, are actually figures that were generated through the 2019 Population and Housing Census. If, at this point in time, as a country, we are debating on whether to adopt the third generation formula or stick with the second generation formula, there are a few things that we cannot sweep under the carpet. Number one, we cannot then use statistics of 2009 in the second formula. Then we would be saying, even if we are to apply the second generation formula, then we must lift the population statistics of 2019 population arousing census, we must lift the poverty index of 2019 population arousing census, and all those other factors and apply in the formula. And I can tell you this, that if the statistics of 2019, 2019 is applied on the second generation formula, then more counties are actually going to get a reduction. And the reduction will even be more drastic for those counties that feel they are a little bit oppressed with the, with the third generation formula. I agree as Kenyans and as leaders that sometimes it is important to divorce politics from development and also politics from figures with facts. No amount of political politicking will change the population size of Kenya. The poverty index in this country, in every individual county, cannot be altered of, by the politics of today or politics of succession or presidency in the future. I want to take this opportunity to appeal to His Excellency the President, to Right Honorable Raila Odinga, to the Deputy President, to Kalonzo Musioka, and all other political presidential future aspirants. That let us not whip senators or the nation as per political persuasions of the future. Let us deal with development matters as development matters where we have decided to mandate a constitutional commission like CRA to perform a function, the designers of the Constitution and Kenyans who pass the Constitution envisage a situation where political persuasions will overrun statistical facts. And that is why it was necessary to have CRA as an independent constitutional commission. And we therefore want to urge the Senate that they should pass the third generation formula that is at the floor of the House tomorrow and that the formula should be applied in the current financial year. Secondly, National Treasury should begin taking the recommendations of CRA seriously. The crafters of the Constitution and Kenyans must have found it necessary to have CRA as part of our independent commission. If National Treasury took into consideration the recommendations of CRA and actually allowed counties as per the shareable revenue available. As per CRA's recommendation, counties were actually supposed to be sharing close to 370 billion. If National Treasury 
seriously consider the recommendations of CRA, and this formula applied, actually we could not have had any county losing. So we are dealing here with a situation where we have very little revenue, shareable revenue given to counties, and the fact that we have statistical figures here that are stubborn, that will never be changed by any other thing, and we are supposed to share the revenue that is available. So I want to ask the Senate that please let's pass the formula, and I want to ask my Senator Professor Kamar, the Deputy Speaker of the Senate, that uh, the people of Wasingishu are watching, and we are waiting for that vote to stand with the people of this county. All what we want as a nation is to make sure that we alleviate poverty, we create access to health care in all parts of this country, and all of us support development in all areas. Finally, we have counties like us here in Eldred, Nakuru, Kisumu, Mombasa, Nyeri, Kiambu, with very huge urban population. And there are services we have to deliver as counties with huge urban population like sewerage, for example. Again, if the formula does not consider such factors that are not common to all counties, then counties with large urban population will continue suffering and offering services that are not adequate to the residents of the urban areas because of the resources that are being allocated. And that is why I think there was a lot of research in the third generation formula and CRA even recommended some funds for major towns or cities in the country. And all of us appreciate that even if I'm given money to run Eldoret municipality, it's not actually money for mandate or money even to some extent, not money for the people of Wasengishu County. How many people from other counties come to do business in Eldred? They will need to access water. They will need to access, we need sewer services. We need all these other social amenities in urban areas. How many of us in different parts of this country have actually their children in Nairobi? If today we complain and say, why are we giving Nairobi a lot of money? But who is, who is that who is living in Nairobi? It is all of us who are migrating from Eldoret, we are going to Nairobi. You are migrating from Kakamega, you are going to Nairobi. You are migrating from Mandera, you are going to Nairobi. And if you go to Nairobi, you need roads, you need lights, you need sewerage, you need health, you need security. You need all these services. Therefore, if we are pushing population to a certain corner, let's also allow sufficient resources to deal with that population in that corner. So that development can also be consumerate or large populations can access quality services wherever they are. This is our position. County government of Wasingishu, county government of Elgeo Marakwet, and so many other counties who stand to gain additional resources from the third generation formula. This formula, the third generation formula, only increases the amount that comes to Elgeo Marakwet by 390 million, which again it's a gain for us, and we, that will go in a long way in ensuring that we improve the services of the people of Elgeo Marakwe. So personally, I want to urge my senator and also the Senate that they need to pass this formula. And again, I know uh, there are colleagues of ours who will be disadvantaged by this formula. But we know that the national government has resources and it can as well, through the equalization fund, we look at how to cushion those counties. This formula, they consider those counties that are still struggling with less than five billion. You all know that there are services that needs a lot of money to uh, <coughs> deliver, like health, Elder alone takes 40% of my budget and still we are not able to employ enough elder personnel to support health services in our county. So I think in the spirit of uh, also raising those counties which are disadvantaged, we urge the Senate uh, to pass this formula.